Okay, family, I was going to bed. It's way well after 5 a.m. Um, I was going to bed. And I, I just had to make this video first. Um, the first thing I need to say is the fact that I've been on Patreon trying to get it started well. So I've been not in the, uh, I haven't been doing YouTube in the way in which I would have been doing if it weren't for Patreon. So I'm doing Patreon and still trying to keep YouTube stabilized. And the things that are going on on Patreon, you guys wouldn't believe, it's just amazing. It's as if I'm filled with a different kind of aura or spirit when I'm there. It's like things just come out that don't seem to grasp me the way that they do on YouTube. And I'm not saying this to get you guys to come over to Patreon. But I will say this in reference to Patreon. It, 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 it hurt me because I spoke with someone who is also a YouTuber. And they have a Patreon as well as a YouTube station. And he and I were talking and we were talking about the fact that you have like five, six million subscribers and people who, fa people who faithfully, and I mean faithfully, look at and patronize, to strictly patronize uh, channels that are just strictly bullshit, you know, uh, pranks. And don't get me wrong. It's good to have fun. It's good to have an outlet. But at a time like this, when the world is on its end, it's on its head, it's on its side, playtime is not right now. Okay, right now is what's going on, what we need to do, how we need to counter what the uh, masses are doing to us. This is what's important. And to think about the fact that for a person not to, you know, cater to or patronize something like this that's going to not just cater to and take care of your physical life but your soul and for someone not to bite, not to feel thirsty or hungry for this information but yet they feel thirsty and hungry for uh, the, the things that go viral that are just not important, it's just unbelievable to me, you know? It's unbelievable to me uh, the numbers that they have on other Patreon um, platforms that aren't talking about nothing, okay? Nothing important, okay? And I'm doing this from my heart, you know? And he's telling me, he's like, you know... Uh, Sister Leia, you need to uh, stop doing what you're doing for free. You need to, you know, find some means by which to, you know, make some sort of a economic fortitude for what you're doing. And I understand that person's point. Uh, actually, a few people have told me that who are YouTubers and who do do that. But that's just not something that I can, you know, uh, hold to sincerely. You know, that's just not something that I can do. But when I think about the fact that $5 a month is something that people find too much to get this information, it's enough to make you feel like you want to cry. Because in my heart of hearts, I really want to help people. I do, you know. And you, uh, I remember uh, Dick always talking about the magic glasses and not being able to force anyone to wear them. So I say that to say, you know, uh, every blade of grass doesn't grow at the same rate, and unfortunately, some don't grow at all. So those of you who see this video, let me tell you, there are things that are going over there on Patreon. Again, I'll put the Patreon link in the description box. Uh, it's unbelievable, the things that we have going on over there the information that's going over there. And I'm not arbitrarily putting more uh, pertinent information there than here. It's just like, once I get started, it just starts spewing out of me. 
spewing out of me and going, you know. Um, I finished the uh, Booga Booga Gods section uh, presentation slash videos. And on the Booga Booga Gods, I had only planned to do one, maybe two videos at the most. And when I say two videos, that means like maybe 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there for a total of 30. But once I got to Patreon and it started, it was just unbelievable, you know. So uh, it's three parts. And it's just not about the Booga Booga Gods. It's about things that you couldn't even begin to imagine. Things that should not and cannot be missed. You guys have to get over there and see these things because I can't put them here on YouTube, okay? Uh, we've got high magic going over there, low magic going on over there, you know, and whatnot. Um, I couldn't believe that uh, out of all these years, I happened to see on uh, TV someone in someone else's apartment bewitched playing. Uh, why that's important is because back in the 60s when that came out, they tried to make it seem like it was just something enchanting and that it wasn't real. You know, that's the reason why every time you would hear Samantha cast a spell, it would always rhyme. Okay, like I told you guys, if you lose something, the thing to say is, uh, Dear St. Anthony, my shoe can't be found. Please let it come around. They all rhyme, okay? You know, it's just all kinds of things that the information that you guys have just, if you miss it, you're missing it, literally. You know, so um, at this point, I am going to release the first installment, the first part of that Booga Booga Gods video. Uh, I already did the first one. I'm going to release it on YouTube. There's three parts. So when it comes to an end, you're going to feel like, you know, the Scooby-Doo, like, you know, ooh, like what happened? The other two are on Patreon. So once you see the first one, I can't foresee anyone seeing that first one and not feeling void of seeing the other two. And if you feel that way, they're on Patreon for you to get there and see, you know, and if you get there and you feel like it's redundant, something you already know, or, you know, it's not fulfilling you, unsubscribe, you know, once you get there. But I just feel it incumbent of me to let you know that it's popping over on that Patreon channel. And anyone uh, who does have Patreon, and you see this video on, you know, on YouTube, because this is where I'm going to release it, obviously this is where you're seeing it. Please let them know what you think about what's happening over at Patreon versus what's happening over at YouTube and if you think it's a difference or not. You know, it, it, it really is amazing the things that are going over on that particular platform where I'm able to say the things that I need to say. Um, people are asking me about aspects of my personal life, you know, that I didn't think you all would be interested about. So. Uh, I'm doing that, I'm doing a video, videos about how I eat. Uh, that was supposed to be one of the videos that I be, would be, should be doing now while I'm doing this one. You know, and uh, another thing uh, that I talked to you all about, and I want to say it so that I don't forget, is that we talked about uh, your hands and how the, the brown part is a uh, demagnetizer of food and anything that could harm you. Uh, and if you have something that, like deodorant, it would, you know, deactivate anything that's harmful. Well, aside from that, there is this product. It's called, I'm not endorsing it, I'm just showing you guys what it is. It's called, well, let me show it to you first and then I'll tell you what it's called. Okay. It's called Coco and Company. It's the purest virgin coconut oil for beauty. Because there's two types of coconut oil. There is, uh, I don't know you guys are thinking, how she jumped from that to coconut oil? But stick with me, please. There's the coconut oil that you cook with, and then there's the coconut oil that is beauty, for beauty. But I would think that because the ingredients on this is, it says ingredients 100% organic 
unrefined extra virgin coconut oil. Uh, it says organic and natural, vegan, non-GMO, cruelty-free, made in the USA. And because of all of that, I would assume that if you ate it, it's so pure, it wouldn't even hurt you. Now, I'm not saying to eat it. In fact, I'm saying don't eat it because I, I, I don't know. But here's the thing. Everybody's different, okay? Some cultures don't believe in deodorant. I'm not one of those people, okay? Uh, my hygiene game is, 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 is on the other side of the game. I mean, I just, I'm just really big on hygiene. Because you, I refuse to entreat the Most High without going before it with my hygiene on point. Okay? Uh, it's, it's just... Anyway, I mean, come on. Most brown people are that way. We don't play about hygiene. Especially the ladies. So, but this particular uh, product that I got my hands on, usually when something does too many things, it's going to lack in some area. That's not the case with this one. This is something that takes care of skin, hair, and face in different ways. Now, check this out, guys. For the skin, okay, I don't have my glasses or my magnifying glass on, so, or my magnifying glass, so bear with me. And the thing about this is that if you leave it out, it will literally uh, turn into a form that you can actually see through, like water, like a, like an oil, like a baby oil or a mineral oil. You can see straight through it if it gets warm enough. You can set it in hot water or leave it in a warm area. Then you can take it and put it in the refrigerator and it'll take the form of a solid while not changing its efficacy or its strength or anything else or uh, losing, it won't go bad, you know, it won't, uh, it wouldn't go rancid in the transitioning process. But anyway, really quick, um, as far as the skin is concerned, uh, it says all natural moisturizer for the skin. Uh, it's an after sun care, so I would assume that means like if you have a sunburn or something like that. Um, you can use it for a body oil shaving oil like if a man or wanted to shave or a woman wanted to shave her um, arms or legs or whatever uh, it says dry skin uh, renewal no no I'm sorry dry skin relief and then it says nail cuticle softener and then it says after shower care and natural deodorant okay and massage oil now here's my thing about the deodorant thing I can't find myself, I can't find out that something doesn't work by using it, okay? You know what I mean? I don't want to find out that this isn't a good deodorant by finding out it's not a good deodorant. So what I did is I stayed in one day and didn't do anything and used it so that if it failed me, I'd be in. Guys, it, 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 it's good. It helped me. Now again, everybody's pH is different. Everybody's body is different, you know what I mean? This stuff held me, okay? It, it, it acted like a really good deodorant. Now, they have some deodorants that say 24 to 48 hour, you know, uh, holding period. I don't know if they work because I don't go that long without bathing. I bathe, you know, once, twice a day. But, so I don't know, you know, you know, before you go to bed and when you get up, you know, sometime during the day or whatever. So I don't know if this would last that long, okay? I know it'll give you a good 15 to 24 hours, but I don't know about anything longer than that. But anyway, but I guess you could always reapply it. That's just kind of common sense. And then as far as hair, it says conditioner, hot oil treatment. That's an old school thing. Uh, scalp. It's a scalp soother. A frizz fighter. A hair mask. Uh, and dandruff control, okay? Now for the face, it says uh, gentle face wash. It's actually a face wash, okay? It's a makeup remover. I've tried it for those uh, things and it works really well for that. But most oils will, you know, just to be perfectly honest. And um, it says that it's a, a base and uh, a base for makeup. So if you like use what you call primer, this would act as a primer, believe it or not. And also a lip conditioner. You know, I tried it for, as a lip conditioner and a lip balm. It's 
the bomb okay I use it as a bomb b-a-l-m and it worked like the bomb b-o-m-b and it's also a really good under eye treatment okay because I have genetically dark eyes like an Arab would you know and it's really really good for that you know so you don't necessarily have to oh it's also a cheekbone highlighter I don't have anything to show you like you get, like you know most people use a color to highlight their cheeks you know uh, like some sort of a you know a pro kind of you know you ladies know a highlighter well you could actually use this for a highlighter it just has no color it's just it just gives you that you know what they uh, what they call glow okay and um, like I said lip conditioner and under eye treatment uh, cheekbone highlighter and it's uh, also oil pulling as well meaning believe it or not this is a coconut oil but it pulls all of the uh, impure oils out of your face so that when you put it on massage it in rinse it it rinses squeaky you know like no oil it's unbelievable how this stuff works um, it says it's clean and 100% raw you know for beauty and then it says and then it goes from a liquid or a solid again so this this I'm not being paid in, to endorse it but this is some unbelievable stuff y'all this this is it right here I, I don't know how this is like the holy grail for real okay so um, I just basically wanted to get with you guys and let you know that again the this is sorta of, this can be like the uh, preface to the part one of the uh, Booga Booga Gods that I did over on uh, Patreon and then just to let you know here again parts two and three are at Patreon if you know in the event you decide that you want to watch it it's only five dollars to subscribe um, it's usually more to go to a higher tier I have not set that up but it's unbelievable the camaraderie that we have over there you know and I'm going to uh, do another uh, video on uh, how I eat which is very important because you can't put a clean thing and an unclean thing and expect to get something out of it that's positive or clean. Uh, it's like trying to have clear skin without having clean skin or having clear skin without first having healthy skin. You know, that's just my little, you know, philosophy that happens to be a fact. So, uh, at this particular point, I also wanted to make this video because uh, these bracelets are really selling and I have been getting a lot of testimonials um, but I don't want to say what's oh my god I just remember something I gotta do oh my freaking goodness anyway uh, I gotta do that and uh, guys god is so good let me tell you this thing draws so much positivity it draws so much uh, money and wealth because I had had a financial issue and I'm like what the hell is going on the way that I manifest that I've got a financial issue what is going on but what happened was I went to bed wearing my bracelet right and when I went to bed wearing my bracelet it was annoying me when I say annoying me I mean I was like sleeping on it and it was just kind of like I could hear it clicking and it was just doing its own thing so I just like took it off for a second and put it on the nightstand so when I took it off and put it on the nightstand I forgot to put it back on y'all it was like calamity was falling from everywhere okay uh, and I'll explain how now I'm not saying that this bracelet is going to take the place of your goodness or the most high or your tithing but what I am saying I'll explain later because I don't have the time because I just remember something I need to do for one of our black and white members but anyway I couldn't understand why it was happening I remembered that I'm not lying y'all I, I have no reason to exaggerate I remembered that I did not have it on I put it on and I got a call from someone 
who has one of these bracelets, she said, you got to get me a couple more. you got to give me a couple more. Please give me a couple more for my grandsons. She said, I can see the difference from the time that I got it until now, and I know it's not haphazard. I know it's not a coincidence, Dr. Leah. Please get me a couple more of these. And the thing that is so amazing is that when she called me was when I realized that I didn't have it on because it was on the nightstand and I had forgotten to put it back on and as soon as I put it back on the money flew in like a bird through an open window the positivity came into my life like it's nobody's business I wouldn't tell you this if it wasn't true I have no reason to you guys know me well enough to know that you can trust me and that I wouldn't say anything that isn't true. I, have, I mean, what would I gain? You know, I mean, if you're new to this channel or to me and this is your first video, you probably wouldn't know. But you guys who know me, you know me. You know what I mean? And it's just absolutely mandatory that you guys put your hands on these bracelets. And also, my publisher finally came through. The books are have already been shipped. They'll be here any day. Make sure you get to blackorwhite.me to get yourself a book. I don't know why. Some people have no problem getting the book. Some people have no problem ordering the bracelet. If you do, for whatever reason, my information, my email, Leah Japs at uh, Hotmail, at the Leah at blackandwhite.me, something like that. It's, it, all that's in the description box. Uh, you can send it to Cash App or PayPal, and I'll have um, my assistant ship it out to you guys, be it the book, the 